fine, I made it. She's been going with me, Mary, for eight years. She calls herself a veteran in the pro-life movement in the fight against abortions. Mary Ruane has been attending the march in Washington, D.C. for nearly a decade. This time, she's more ready than ever to fight with prayer and presence for the unborn. Current News' Jessica Easthope caught up with her ahead of her trip down to the Capitol. I carry a light backpack. It's blue for the Blessed Mother. Mary Ruane has thought of everything. A&D, ointment, uh, band-aids. She's ready to head down to D.C. on Friday and march for hours with more than 100,000 other people who believe life is sacred. No one could really express how it makes you feel. It just makes me so happy that there's hope in the world. Mary's attended March for Life many times over the years, but she currently has an eight-year streak going. At 81 years old, the march isn't easy for her, but she says it's worth it to show up for every single soul that's been lost to abortion. It's our job to protect those children, not to kill them. Mary will make the trip on a Diocese of Brooklyn bus. Joining her is Father Michael Panicali, parochial vicar at St. Helen Church in Howard Beach. Stand up for the cause of life. Now that Roe v. Wade has been overturned, Mary and Father Michael say the work is more important than ever and far from over. According to March for Life, there are still more than 900,000 abortions every year, and that number is only expected to decrease by about 200,000 in a post-Roe America. Yeah, I think that sometimes it might be uh, easy for people to assume that the abortion issue is, is settled, but it's far from settled. They say it's against women, but it is in favor of women. Women don't realize they're being manipulated and exploited to believe that it's okay to kill their own child. Mary says to march in solidarity alongside the teenagers and young adults who call themselves the pro-life generation is a gift. In 2010, it was estimated half of the marchers were under the age of 30. I'm so proud of them. They are following and they know right from wrong. It's beautiful to see God's work in the young people. It's just a great day to celebrate your Catholicism. Mary plans to march for as long as she can. She says she'll stop when abortion is unthinkable. In Howard Beach, Jessica East Hope, Currents News. And there are new details about the annual event kicking off on January 20th. <laughs> It's being billed as next steps coming off of the landmark victory with the Dobbs decision. The focus of the demonstration will pivot from the overturning of Roe v. Wade to restoring a culture of life across America. Some other changes during this year's march in honor of the Dobbs victory. Pro-lifers will walk past Congress acknowledging that lawmakers now hold a critical role in this post-Roe America. And the march will end between the Capitol building and the Supreme Court, giving witness to the two branches, the inherent dignity of the human person in the womb. If you'd like to attend, contact Christian Rada, the director of Marriage, Family Formation, and Respect Life Education for the Diocese of Brooklyn. That number is 718-965-7300 with the extension 5541. Or you can email crada at diobrook.org. John Lavenberg, the national correspondent for the Tablet and Crux, will be covering the march, starting the night before with the National Vigil for Life at the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. He'll join us Thursday to talk about that, and again Friday for the actual march itself. That's January 19th and the 20th, right here on Currents News. And you can participate in the gift of life and prayer. Bishop Robert Brennan is celebrating the annual diocesan Pro Vita Mass on Sunday, January 22nd at the Cathedral Basilica of St. James. The Mass will be held from 11 a.m. to noon. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.